This is Banjo, and today I'm going over terrain masking, where you defensively maneuver the aircraft to place an object between your aircraft and the radar emitter to defeat the radar lock. In TAC view, we're able to see in the example, I have an AIM-120 fired on my aircraft, so I break defensively, find the first available ridge line that I can dive behind to block the radar's line of sight to my aircraft. This will break the enemy's radar lock on my aircraft, which will cause the missile to become unguided, or in the case of an active missile, I'll need to reposition myself as well outside of the seeker's range of influence as so that it doesn't reacquire me when I pop back up from behind the ridge line. When the lock is broken, this gives you the perfect chance to come back around to get a shot at the enemy, as you don't want to stay defensive. But in this example, I'm going to stay defensive for four launches before I come around to engage the enemy. This should demonstrate the point quite well. As we're able to see, each time I climb up, the enemy launches again, so I quickly increase throttle and dive down again to break the radar lock. Come around to change position, to get outside of the seeker's range of influence so it doesn't reacquire. Poke up again so they launch again, dive down again to break the lock. I'll repeat this a few times. Naturally though, as I say, you'd want to come around to get a shot at the enemy as soon as you can. As we're able to see in the example, staying defensive for too long will put the enemy at your six and at a shorter range, making evasive action quite difficult if it weren't for these mountains to hide behind. At this point, that the enemy is getting too close to me, so I decide it's time to press the attack, so I break into him, acquire him on the helmet mounted sight. He fires a sparrow, which fails to track, and I fire an R-73, which tracks true and destroys the target. Finally, we'll watch this one more time from in-game. It's at this point that the enemy's missile is picked up by my radar warning receiver, so I increase throttle and dive behind the hill, which masks myself from the enemy's radar. At this point, I get a bit of distance so that when I come back up, the seeker doesn't reacquire me. And as I come back up, the enemy launches again, and I repeat this process. The first ridge line that I used to mask the missile was too shallow to be able to maneuver around and get a shot at the enemy. Although this one I would be able to, but for the sake of the tutorial, as I've mentioned, I'm going to dodge two more missiles. Those we're able to see, I have a lot of room to maneuver down here on the right. And it's at about this point that I will have broken the radar lock that is being held on me. And I could have came around there to the right and got a shot at the enemy. Each time you stay defensive, the enemy gets closer and closer. And each time the enemy gets closer, each launch becomes harder and harder to evade. These are things to keep in mind, so when choosing a ridge line to hide behind, try to choose one deep enough to be able to maneuver around it. Another thing to note is if the enemy is firing from high altitude down onto you, it'll be much harder to evade the missiles, as they will be much harder to mask behind the terrain, and only the deepest of the ridge lines may be able to hide you from them. So at this point, since I've been staying defensive, I've either noticed that I've expended the enemy's AIM-120 battery, or he's really trying to get that sparrow shot on me. So I'm going to begin my attack quite shortly, as I come up around this next hill. But he's starting to fall into my blind spot, I'll put out the occasional flare as well. At this point I feel that I've demonstrated the train masking well enough, and he's holding radar lock. So he fires the sparrow, and I put out chaff to confuse it break into him, pick him up with the helmet mounted sight, and take him out. And as we were able to see, any radar guided launches on your aircraft will be defeated if you can place something between your aircraft and the radar emitter. Just be sure to press the attack shortly thereafter, as you don't want to stay defensive for too long, as it becomes more and more dangerous the longer you are.